Let's bring in Associate Professor Kathleen Powell of the University of Cape Town to join us and expand. A very good evening to you. Thank you for your time this evening. As Israel marks the anniversary of Hamas attacks, we know that the Middle East war essentially rages on. How do we reflect on what is happening now and what has happened? Well, when I prepared for this interview, I focused on the ICJ proceedings and the proceedings in other international forums. So uh, the Security Council and the General Assembly. So I've been looking at how international forums have examined and pronounced on what has been happening and the orders that have been issued and the extent to which they've been obeyed or not. Um, the release of hostages has been uh, called for in every ICJ judgment mm. so far dealing directly with Israel and, uh, and Gaza. And it has also been uh, demanded by the Security Council and by the General Assembly. Uh, however, these bodies have also dealt with the carnage in Gaza, which resulted from the Hamas attacks of the 7th of October. And those judgments and inquiries and investigations and resolutions call for uh, the uh, admission of humanitarian aid to Gaza and the, the cessation of the kind of military activity that endangers the, the right of the Palestinian people to, the, to survival, uh, endangers their uh, chances of livelihood, because that is covered by the Genocide Convention. So um, I can go to various places from here. Yeah. The fact that Hezbollah has now climbed in as well, and Iran may be joining, is, I think, one of the, is part of the, it's in the wake of the conflict that's not being resolved within Gaza itself. And I really can't predict what's going to happen uh, with all those uh, other parties starting to join in. As we reflect uh, on how South Africa put Israel in the ICJ dock and really trying to get a sense of South Africa's positioning, I mean, you make mention of uh, some of the reaction that we've seen coming across from parties around the world and, of course, the position and approach that has been taken by several countries. Where in history does this place South Africa in its fight in the court? Well, there is precedent for states bringing other states to the ICJ for genocide. Um, Myanmar has been brought to the ICJ for genocide. It took an African state to do that. Um, and Bosnia-Herzegovina has brought Serbia to the ICJ for genocide. Um, but I think the South African case against Israel has been unique in many ways. One of the ways in which, in which it has been unique is that South Africa kept bringing the case back to the court and kept it in the news and kept some focus on what was actually happening in Gaza. Uh, there have also been companion cases that have arrived at the same time. So the prosecutor of the ICC has put in a request that an arrest warrant be issued against leaders of both Hamas and Israel. And the uh, uh, Nicaragua brought a case against Germany for supplying weapons to Israel after the court issued its first judgment against Israel. So what's happened, I think, with the South Africa case against Israel is it seems to have almost um, burst, burst the dam and other parties are now joining in. There have also been a lot, of a lot of states that have joined the cases, uh, both the advisory opinion, which the General Assembly requested on the legality of the occupation by Israel of Palestinian territories, and the actual case of uh, South Africa versus Israel. Uh, in fact, one of the states that has requested to intervene mm -hmm. in the case of South Africa versus Israel is Palestine itself. Mm -hmm. And that will be a very interesting situation because if the court allows Palestine to intervene, it will be acknowledging that Palestine is a state, which is still a slightly contentious topic. 
uh, across the globe. What about Israeli diplomats uh, being instructed to lobby members of the US Congress to pressure South Africa into dropping the case? I mean, how, how, what impact will that have, if any at all? I think that's been happening for years and years. I mean, the, um, uh, the US-Israel connection is quite strong. I'm sure that diplomats in, in uh, um, Israeli diplomats in the US are constantly lobbying for uh, the US to take particular positions which are favorable to Israel. Uh, and I'm sure they're not the only diplomats who do that in yeah. other countries. I mean, that's what diplomats are for. I don't think uh, it's, it may make a change in how strongly South uh, the US uh, remonstrates with South Africa because the US has been very opposed to this uh, application by South Africa. But uh, at the moment, it doesn't seem to have stopped South Africa from bringing the case and pursuing it further. And we know that the case uh, will continue until the court makes a finding. But uh, while the case has been in progress, is in progress, there's, there's the hope that Israel will abide by the court's provisional orders issued to date as you and I speak. There is the hope. And the sad thing is we can't work out how much it has helped. We don't know how much worse it could have been if the case had not been brought, or if the provisional measures had not been handed down. But one thing worth noting is that in the days between South Africa's first lodging of the case and the first hearing for provisional measures, because remember there have been four, but in the, in the days right at the beginning, suddenly in that time, Israel started to let in humanitarian aid and to see to more humanitarian aid within the territory of Gaza. So there, there, might, there might be small differences, but they might have helped. And also every time that Israel has defended itself against the South African uh, case, it has argued that it is meeting its humanitarian obligations. And although we know that hospitals and schools have been bombed and, and uh, uh, even UN aid centers have been bombed. Yeah. Um, it is indeed possible that more aid and more assistance is getting through than would other, otherwise be the case. It is a small comfort at this point. Mm. And of course, it hasn't particularly helped with the release of the hostages either. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining in the conversation. Associate Professor Kathleen Powell of the University of Cape Town joining us there to uh, take stock of the year, a year uh, since the Gaza uh, situation as we mark that anniversary.